Big Herc 916, positivity, motivation. And um, there are two major factors I found in common with people who are highly successful. One of them is um, being persistent. These people were always um, on top of whatever it was they were doing, whether it's um, you know writing music, um, writing books, promoting themselves, branding themselves, working hard. They were persistent. They day after day continued to put their energy into what it is they believed in. Number two was um, not procrastinating. You know, having a sense of urgency. A lot of times you think about doing something and then you get halfway into the day and then you start messing with your phone and you, then you start uh, texting with somebody else and then you get a couple emails and then you put off what you're supposed to do for tomorrow. And then the next day you have to get um, your hair cut, you got to go shopping, you got to do this. And then it just continues. And so you actually get less done. And by the time you actually do what it was you were supposed to do on Monday, it's, it's Thursday and you're on crunch time. So you feel like you're pressured and you're rushed. You want to do something that's, you know, of necessity right then and there, or make the time to do it at your next available minute. And that's what separates the doers from the sayers is how fast do you get it done? You know, I, I've, I've just realized over the years that a lot of people like to talk about, you know, making things happen. They like to talk about, um, you know, creating this, this, this grand vision, but their actions don't follow what they're saying. It's like saying you want to be, you know, the, the, the top basketball player at your school, but you only practice for an hour a day. You know, they say Kobe Bryant, when he played for the Lakers, he would be at practice two to three hours before everybody else and then still had practice, regular practice. And, you know, there was no one who was more dedicated or focus when it came to the game and, you know, executing uh, the mindset of a winner. So if you want to, you know, be at that top 0.001%, then it takes a lot more than what your average individual is willing to do. And not everybody wants to be beyond, you know, you know survival mode. Some people are perfectly content with surviving and just, you know, um, going through their day to day. And as long as their bills are paid, you know, they got a roof over their head, they got a decent car, you know, they busting some cheeks, they cool. Other people, that's not enough. You know, you, you have one, two houses, you have a seven figure bank account, but you want more. And there's nothing wrong with that either. There's nothing wrong with either picture. It's just about what you feel that will, you know, satisfy your, your craving or your drive or your desire. You know, I always felt a little awkward around my peers because I always had a lot more drive than everybody else around me, but I kind of um, put it to the side so that I, I appeared to fit in, you know, um, I didn't really find my, my group, my, you know, my circle until later in my life. And I'm still searching, you know, I, I don't really have that circle per se that I, um, engage in on a daily, you know, my wife is my media circle, but having that circle that you feed off of, you know, it's like, being in a locker room and everybody's pumping every, each other up for the game, you know, you're going over plays, you know, there's a common goal. And the common goal every year, if you're in the NFL, is to win the Super Bowl. If you're in the NBA, it's to win the championship. So everybody is out to put forth their best performance. You're not just out there playing the game just to play, just to get a paycheck, because it's more than a paycheck. 
you know it's 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 status man it's it's uh prestige it's building you know a legacy and um you know everybody has a different perception of life you just got to find out where you want to be at and put yourself around those who are like-minded otherwise you know you have a lot of haters in your camp the more you succeed the more they're going to hate but they're going to smile on your face and it's not a good it's not a good energy uh you know reflection these people are you know putting negative vibes on what you're doing and um they don't want you to win you know it's like with anything else you're going to have people out there who are gunning for you i got a ton of trolls i got people doing blackface videos of me people saying it's hurt gay all type of stuff man i mean you know who has the time and energy to put up a YouTube channel, to steal your videos, repost them, you know, clip together 20, 30, 40 videos and talk about you. Those people are pieces of shit. They're like, they, they have no life whatsoever. They're miserable, you know? You know, just sitting around just obsessing. These are crazy people, man. These are people who uh, really need, need help. But uh, that's what that's what life is. You, you're going to have that regardless. You know, once you start doing your thing, which they say, you know, more money, more haters. Hey, man, it's not going to stop me from pursuing what it is I'm going to do in life. And, uh, you know, I get all the time man. shout out to all the fans who put me up on, you know, these these trolls out there. And I just push past them. I don't even address them. Don't give them the time of energy, the time of day. And, um, you know, I don't know if I should want to um split their wig or be be uh commended that they actually took the time the hours and hours to put together a video about me because they're obsessed they want to swing from my black nuts well keep swinging from the black nuts i'm gonna keep pushing forward pursuing my dreams motivating inspiring and um not taking the time to entertain the bullshit because life is too short, man. You know, gotta, gotta, gotta keep going to you reach our dreams. And, um, you know, those around us who are on the same level, hey, let's go get it. Big Herc 916. Don't forget to stop by the Big Herc 916 store and pick you up a sticker for your car or a patch or a sticker for your laptop or maybe a beanie or read one of the many books that Big Herc 916 has authored. You know how we do it. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916. Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking.